Hi, welcome. In the first part, you saw what is a DigiProctor account. In part two, you will learn about how to log in to your account. To log in, you will need to know your login credential, that is your email ID and password. After DigiProctor creates your account, it will send you an account creation email to the registered email ID which was given by your institution. This email will state that it has successfully created an account for you and very importantly will include your login credentials, that's your email ID and password which you will need to enter to login into your account. Sometimes you may not find the account creation email in your inbox because it may have been sent to the spam folder. So if you do not find the email in your inbox, you must check your spam folder and move the email from there to the inbox. When you open the account creation email, you will find the login credentials, that is your email ID and the login password. You will also see an URL which you can click to go directly to the DigiProctor login page or you can copy and paste it into your browser to go to the login page. Once you are on the DigiProctor login page, enter your email ID and your password and then click Next. Now you have to enter the captcha exactly as shown in the box below. Make sure you enter the capitals and the small characters as shown in the box. Then click login. If you have entered the correct credentials, you will be taken to your account homepage. When you log into your account, this is how your first screen looks like. You can change password by clicking the profile button. You can download testpad by clicking this button. You can see your test information by clicking test management. And you can see your results by clicking analytics. Now we will see how you can reset your account to a new password in case you forgot the old one. Go to the login page and click the forgot password button. You will be taken to the forgot password page. Enter your email ID and click submit. DigiProctor will then send a reset password email to the entered email ID. If you do not find this email in your inbox, Check the spam folder. When you open the reset password email, you will find an URL titled reset password. When you click this URL, you will be taken to a page where you can enter your new password. With this, we come to the end of part two.